hey guys how are you guys welcome guys to my channel welcome 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 to my ministry impossible come possible through jesus christ of nazareth welcome guys thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you to subscribe oh glory be to god good afternoon good morning wherever you are good night wherever you are in the world thank you guys my new subscriber i welcome you guys for watching oh glory be to god now my topic is for today oh glory be to god i'm going to speak about marriage marriage all right guys now you have two type of marriages oh glory be to god the one that god honor and the one that man use their flesh and put together Oh, glory be to God. So you have two type of marriages. You have the one that God put together that no man can put a sunder to it. I have, and you have a next marriage that when our feelings, our emotion get us together. No, the one that God put together that, that brings blessing, prosperity, peace, and happiness. The one that your flesh and your emotion put together bring destruction, disgrace, unease, heartache and pain, sorrow, bitterness. That's, that's the one that mankind put together. But the one that God put together that bring peace, happiness, joy, blessing. That's the one that God honor. Oh, glory be to God. And guys... Before I go straight in into this teaching tonight, oh glory be to God. Guys, I want to edify you guys, oh glory be to God, about marriage and all oh, the, the, the importance of ma marriage. Oh glory be to God. Father God, as I come before you as a humble servant, mighty God. Father God, I tell you, thank for this day, thank you for this moment, mighty God. Thank you for me allow me to in my, my right mind oh god of my name father god i ask you to let self stay and you increase within me father god i ask you for clarity mighty god understanding with them knowledge father god we ask you right now in the name of jesus christ of another to give me the strength mighty god to deliver this word mighty god father god help me not to lean on my own understanding, mighty God, but to look to you from whence cometh my help, mighty God. Father God, we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as I as I as I minister this message, oh God, it heals souls out there, mighty God, and it open person, I oh God of Daniel. So Father God, I ask you, mighty God, to let your will be done in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Now, guys, I'm going to read some verse from genesis 2 when we all know about adam and eve oh glory be to god and oh god honors marriage oh glory be to god and god put man and woman together oh glory be to god so watch this now guys verse 18 reads said then the lord god said it is not good for the man to live alone I will make suitable companion to help him. Oh, glory be to God. So he took some soil from the ground and farm all the animal and all the bird. Then he, then he brought them to the man to see what would name them. And that, he, and that is how they all got their name. So the man named all of all the bird and all the animal, but not one of them was suitable companion to help him. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. So what this is all is saying, God, the Lord brought all the animal for Adam to name them. But when Adam finished naming the animal, God, um, None of them suitable for Hazam. Oh, glory be to God. So I am here to tell someone that God make woman and man. Oh, glory be to God. Not woman and animal. Not woman and woman. Not men and men. Oh, glory be to God. 
verse 20 says so the man named all the bird and and all the animal but not one of them was suitable companion to help him oh glory be to god then the lord god made the man fall into a deep sleep and while he was sleeping he took out one of the man ribs and close up the flesh he formed a he formed a woman out of the rib and brought her to him. Then the men said, at, "At last, here is one of my own kind, bone taken from my bone and flesh from my flesh. Woman is her name because she was taken out of man. That is why." I uh, that is why a man leave his his father and mother and is united with his wife and and they become one. The man and the man and the woman were both naked. The man and the woman were both naked, but they were not embraced embarrassed. Oh, glory be to God. So, people of God, as I am here to tell someone, God honors marriage. And that is the reason why, that's the reason why I, I said to person, when God is about to give you your soulmate, you will know the right person to marry to. Because at first in the Bible, remember that the, the Lord allowed Adam to fall asleep. When Adam fall asleep, the Lord take up one of his ribs. That's the reason why Adam could identify. That's the reason why Adam could identify that woman because what? It was part of his ribs inside of that woman. So there was a connection. There is a connection because what? God allow one of Adam's rib, rib to build that woman. So in the time when it's just as now, when you're going to look, when you're going to, 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 to get your soulmate, your wife or your husband, you will know the right connection to make. You will know. And as the Bible says, God honors marriage. God honor, honors marriage. That's the reason why God allow, God realized that Adam cannot live without a woman and he need a companion to keep his company to give him to to to, to give him comfort oh glory be to god so god allow adam to for um, put adam to sleep for him to get a companion so that's the reason why adam could identify his soul meat because it's one of his rib so that there where the connection comes from Oh, glory be to God. So I'm going to go straight in, in some. No. Marriage are, marriage are sacred partnership that are to be honored way above any other relationship we have in, in this life. Being second only to, only to our relationship with God. So, real, so marriage, you take that thing serious. It is second to God. It is something that you dedicate yourself to. Marriage is something that you dedicate yourself, your life. It's something that you transparent. You have to transparent. When you, when you are both married, you have to be transparent if you want the relationship to work. So it said that relationship with God, we should we should treat our spouse better than we do other people, and we should value our relationship with the person God has sorry, God has entrusted to, to us far more than we value any other connection simply put we should hold our marriage in high esteem so must all our marriage 
with value we must value our marriage it is second from God many couples today however put their marriage on the back burner and that is why so many divorce and separation happen in the different place in in the in in the world this is not right not only does divorce and separation give the art of god the art of god it's also devastate the life of those affected by it so god honors marriage so what you can do to 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 to, to not not to, to 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 be divorced you have to try to make it work that's the reason why i said to person when god put two person together they come as one they are one flesh so that's the reason why i said to person there are two type of marriages one that god put together like the one that god honor you can spend time pray about situation you work it out you talk it out you reason it out the one that man use their flesh and their emotion and their feeling to put together there is no way to work it out more than destruction disaster devastate they devastate so we have to be careful so we have to pray when 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 we, we, we think that you're ready for a husband or a wife after prayer we have to pray because God honors marriage and we have to be careful or wait on God we should all marriage in high regards we should honor it it must take extra care to to set it apart from other relationship that we have with our parent friend colleagues client acquaintance and other people that we know oh glory be to god now we know that you have to unite therefore shall a man live leave his his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh no when i said cleave i don't mean that you should ignore your parents you're going to cleave to your wife. You're going to build a family. When you are when, when you both married and come as one, you're going to start your own family. You're gonna be that transparent so that the relationship, the marriage can work. Oh glory be to God. So look on the work. Look on the word cleave. It means to adore, to stick, to stick to our join with into one entity. Sorry. Our join with. It is a unique joining of two people into one entity. It means we do not quit when things are not going right. It includes taking things out, praying things through, being patient as you trust God to work in, in both of your heart, being willing to admit when you are wrong, and asking forgiveness and seeking God, counter regardless in the word. So you're going to seek God. You're going to pray about it. Oh, glory be to God. No. So you're going to let the Bible instruct you. When you're married, always allow God to be the center of your marriage. Always allow God to be the center of your marriage. Commit, commit to help each other, not put one another down. Ecclesiastic 4, 9 to 12. You can go and read about it. Two are better than one because there is a good reward for their labor. Together for if they fall, then one will help help, 
his companion, but woe to him who is alone when he falls and has no one to help him up. So you see what I'm saying? God give you a companion to help you in all area, in all we and all shape, all form. So you're going to always allow God to be the center of your marriage. And in order for you to get peace, you have to be transparent. You have to open and always pray. Scratch divorce or separation off your list. Of option. Mark 10, 6-9. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his, to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. So you're going to leave your, your, your parents' house and come as one. You're going to be one. So you have to, in order for that um, marriage to work, you have to be transparent. Be truthful and be transparent in order for that marriage to work. And that's the reason why you find a lot of relationship now is falling apart because of what? There is no honesty. There is no transparent. There is no trust. Oh, glory be to God. No. So then they are no longer two but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So whatever God put together, no man can part it. No matter what the rough time and the difficult time, no man can part. Whatever God put together, no man can part it. Be all, be all united and and transparent with your spouse so in order for you for, for your relationship to work you have to be transparent you have to be transparent when you want your marriage to work so guys I, I, I you can go as as I lay out the, the 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 scriptures, you can go and edify yourself and read more about it. So I always said to Percy, you have to be careful. Marriage is something that is very, very, very fragile. It's something that is very, is very serious. You have to be careful what you are doing. If you don't ready to be transparent, if you don't ready to open up, it don't make any sense. You go into marriage. If you don't, if you don't, if you do, if you do not ready to leave your your mother and your father to cling to your husband or your wife so that it can work and you can live as one and come as um live in unity. It don't make any sense. You're going to married. If every time you have you have um disagreement, you're going to bring your mother and your father in in it and cannot solve it between the both of you and God, it don't make any sense. The Bible the, the Bible says, you, you, you leave your mother and your father and cleave. That mean join cleave mean join. You come together and you become one flesh. So no more secret, no more hide and seek. So guys, I want you to take this into consideration. Sit down what and look in into your relationship. Look into your marriage. What causes so much? disagreement what causing this um problem and try to solve it because god say honor is marriage and sometimes we allow our emotion and our own flesh to cause us to make the wrong choice because whatever god honors you get blessing 
and happiness, not frustration. So guys, I want I want you to sit down and analyze your life. See where you went wrong. What is it? And take a stand. So guys, have yourself a wonderful time in the Lord. Love you guys. I hope this edifies someone. I hope this helps someone out there. Please like and share it. Heaven bless you guys. Peace out. Shalom.